After two days of protests and outrage in the district of Mandya in Karnataka, today has been rather peaceful and calm. The police have been deployed in heavy measure there uh, for security reasons and the police have also kind of beefed up their security with the uh, frequent patrolling in different remote corners of the district. The latest update is that an FIR has been registered against the protesters which also includes some of the Hindu activists. The FIR is registered under IPC sections 143, 301, 353 and 149. The case has been initiated based on a complaint that has been filed by Tehsildar Shivakumar Biradar. Now, because of this FIR, the BJP has been further irked. Remember, they had staged statewide protests yesterday in every district. What we saw in uh, uh, Bangalore was uh, at Mysore Bank Circle, where after the protests, uh, where they shouted slogans of Jai Shri Ram, they were taken into preventive custody by the cops. And in Mandya, some of the BJP as well as the JDS workers, along with activists and locals, undertook a Padayatra, which uh, involved a 12-kilometer stretch. Now, based on all of this, an FIR has been registered and the case has been initiated. The other is that late last night, uh, the Zilla Panchayat CEO, Sheikh Tanvir, had issued a suspension order against uh, one of the di district administration officials uh, who goes by the name Jeevan. He is the Panchayat Development Officer. Now, the suspension order claims that uh, it is dereliction of duty. He wasn't discharging his duty properly, mainly because he issued permission for hoisting a religious flag on government land. Uh, remember, on government land, it is only the national flag that can uh, perhaps be hoisted and that permission should be given only for a national flag. These are some of the contentions that have been uh, raised by both the Congress as well as the BJP. But the blame game definitely continues in a state like Karnataka and it seems like it will only intensify ahead of the Lok Sabha election. With camera person Govan, Pratibaraman in Bengaluru for NDTV.